Yeah, there might be a possibility that many life forms are yet to be discovered. This calm ocean seems to be promising all the favorable conditions to the lives it has harbored. But this is not the case every time. It poses danger for almost all organisms to assert themselves. Everyone is equipped with all kinds of tricks to survive. You will be surprised to know that the largest animals of the oceans, such as whales, consume tons of phytoplankton each day to keep themselves alive. These phytoplankton form the base of every food chain the ocean has. Other organisms that make up the biodiversity of the oceans are large fishes such as tuna, swordfish, and sharks. Small fishes such as stonefish, remoras, reptiles such as turtles, mammals such as dolphins, and invertebrates such as sponges, corals, jellyfish. Starfish, sea fans, crabs, and octopuses. The ocean contains approximately 230,000 identified species. And it is an assumption that some 2 million marine species yet to be documented.
Sea fans are a type of soft coral that is often found in warm waters and around reefs. There are also soft corals that live in deep waters. These are colonial animals that have a beautiful branching structure that is covered by soft tissue. One of the interesting facts about the sea fan is that it hosts other marine life. Hidden in the branches of this soft coral lies one of the smallest invertebrates. Let us go a little closer to observe the invertebrate. It is a pygmy seahorse. Its size is about three-fourth of an inch. The small size of the pygmy seahorse makes it very hard for them to live alone. They attach to a host, such as soft corals, to survive. This is how they can survive since they can't swim well and they are too small to handle the water currents. Without an anchor, the underwater ecosystem has many interesting examples of interaction between different organisms. One such example is the shark and the remora association. The remora fish attaches to the belly of the shark by a sucker disc in its mouth. It travels everywhere the shark goes. It eats any parasite of the shark which helps keep the shark clean. By doing so, it establishes a symbiotic association with sharks. The remora or sucker fish gets to eat and the shark stays clean and healthy. But remoras also do their share of scavenging. When sharks make a kill, the remora fish capitalize themselves by eating leftovers. that some small fish offer cleaning services to other fish? A small blue street cleaner Rassi offers a cleaning service to other reef fish by eating the surface parasites that live on the client's skin. This mutual association appears very harmonious, but it is not. This mutual association possess a wonderful model system for exploring how conflicts of interest are resolved. This region of the sea is rich in algae. Hey, see, the algae is moving. No, this is not algae. This looks like a crab. This is a spider crab. It lives mostly in shallow bays on the sandy bottom. They are among a group of several different crab species that are known as decorator crabs because they cover their shells with material to hide from the eyes of predators. Spider crabs cut off bits of algae and cover their spiny shells with it to make a form of living camouflage. The camouflage works great in helping them to blend into their surroundings and the algae benefits from this mutualistic symbiosis because it gets a free ride, giving it access to more floating debris for food and more space to spread its genetic material around the ocean. This underwater life supports the livelihood of more than 3 billion people across the world. Adding to your surprise, the market value of this less explored world of marine and coastal resources and related industries is estimated at US dollars 3 trillion per year, about 5% of global GDP. Over the course of thousands of years, each animal in its own way is brought about in natural selection amongst its prey. It has enabled its species to introduce all its blessed elements to survive, evolve, adapt and become stronger. In the ocean as on land, failure to adapt leads to extinction. 